And one is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X and today I'll show you how to set up the device. So once you turn on the device, you will need to, you'll see by skip this screen, so tap on the next arrow and then select a language. So we're gonna stick with English, Let's tap on next. From here, choose your region. Uh, whatever region you choose, it doesn't really change the language itself. So just tap on the first. Now what it will do is basically, I think change the access to apps that are specific uh, in the app store to this device. So whatever the gallery app or whatever it's called here, we'll just change what apps uh, you can install. Uh, so from here, you have only the choice of switching between two keyboards. Now, if you in, uh, install additional ones, uh, you can switch them up later on in the phone itself. But I'll just stick with Google keyboard and let's just tap on next and then connect to network. Now you can skip this if you like, if you want to connect to some, you can just tap on it and then put in password as long as the network has a password, uh, unlike the one that I have just connected. And then just tap on next again and get the terms of service, which you can click on them and read. And then you have the mark right here that you have read them and just tap on next to agree to it. Um, insert SIM. Now you can skip this if you don't feel like inserting right now. It doesn't really change anything, so I'm just gonna skip it. Checking for SIM, just tap on next. There we go. Uh, got Google, now here you can connect with uh, your Google to this account or to this phone. So it asks you, do you have an account? So you can just tap on yes and then log in. So I'm actually gonna do it really quickly. Now, if you don't have an account, but you wish to set up a Google account, you can always tap on it and then you have an option right here to create an account. So I already have one, so I don't need to. Okay, and then tap on next and put in the password. So I'm gonna do that off the screen. And once more, tap on next. And you will see the welcome and basically the terms of service uh, for Google, which is a nice welcoming, I guess. Tap on I agree. Nothing says more welcome, like just terms of service. Um, so from here, you have the option to automatically back up your device. So it will just start storing data, whatever, like photos and other stuff you have on the device and the cloud. And then other devices that are connected to the same Google account will be able to have it synced between them. You have some payment methods. You can skip this or enable it. I'm just gonna say no thanks. Uh, sign up with me account. Me account is basically a Google account, but specific for the me or Xiaomi uh, brand, which is, you can skip it really. Uh, it gives you access later on to some specific apps. So if you will need it, you can then create it or log into it as well. Add a fingerprint. Um, you can skip it as well if you don't want to or add a fingerprint. I'm just gonna do it as an example. So once you set it, add fingerprint, you will also need to have a different method of unlocking the device and you have a choice between pin pattern or password. So I'm just gonna select pattern and then you need to draw the pattern itself and redraw it again, tap confirm and then start scanning your finger on the back sensor. So you just find it right here. And there it is. So you can change the name of the uh, fingerprint name. Uh, so it will be easier, easily recognizable later on if you want to add additional ones so you don't get lost with them. But it doesn't really matter here. So I'm just gonna tap on done. Additional settings, location, experimental. Um, you can basically disable them or enable. It doesn't really matter. You basically have access to them later on in settings anyway. And tap on I agree. And then you have a choice of theme. So different themes. And by mistake, I just clicked one, I think. Oh, no, okay, just shows you a preview. I'll just stick with the default and tap on the arrow again. Set up complete. OK, 
give it a moment and once it's finished it will then be on the home screen of the device. And there it is. So that is how you would perform the setup of the device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.